Choosing a course price is a difficult decision to take as a course creator. Charge too little and your course will look cheap and you won't have enough money to put food on the table. Charge too much and no one will buy your course, but you will get a lot of creative insults to you and your close relatives. So how much should you price your online courses? I'm Alessandro and I'm an online marketing expert and in this channel I give weekly tips and advice on how to start a profitable online business how to grow it with customers and clients, and how to make it your career, your real career, and live your actual job where uh, coffee is even shitty. If this sounds good to you, click on the red button that you have below this video to subscribe to this channel and click on the bell, so you will have a notification every time I will post a new video. But let's find out what is the perfect price for your online course. Welcome to the Growth Academy. Let me be clear from the beginning, this video is not a one-size-fits-all response to all the instructors out there. So why should you keep watching this video? I've just started, don't be anxious. The first online course I ever created was 4 hours of content. And since I was afraid of charging too much and I was suffering from a severe form of imposter syndrome, I decided to set the price at $47. When I launched the course, I had 300 people on my email list. So I launched the course to 300 people and I sold 10 copies of my course. And you can imagine how excited I was to receive all those purchase emails into my inbox. With my first launch, I made $470. That is not amazing, but still is passive income. And the most important thing about this launch obviously wasn't the money I made because it was nothing, right? You can watch any other video on YouTube about course launches and you will listen about five figure launches, six figure launches, many figures involved in those videos. Now I made almost nothing. But the most important thing about this launch was the validation of online courses for me. I had at the back of my mind the idea that this entire thing of online courses was a huge scam, was a, a, an online scam and everyone was lying about making money with online courses. But seeing that 10 people bought my low price course made me realize that I could put more effort into this thing. So on the following year, I spent a long time increasing the value of my course and increasing the price as well accordingly. And as I raised the price of my course and I launched again, I realized that more people bought the course. So what the hell was going on? I wasn't just earning more revenue, but I was getting even more customers. Month after month, I realized an incredible truth. I realized that a higher price creates a higher perceived value of your online course that leads to more customers that leads to more sales this doesn't mean that you can keep increasing the price of your course never ending there is a sweet spot and with testing and testing and testing i realized that my sweet spot was 497 dollars 10 times the original price i set for my first launch everyone is afraid of charging too much so everyone first time they launched their online course they charge a low price. And then with time, every creator understand that he has to increase the price, he has to increase the value, he has to improve the marketing. But why there is this fear of charging too much? There are different reasons for that. Maybe you're not confident about your content, or maybe you don't have a huge email list, or maybe you're afraid that people can find whatever you're teaching for free on the internet. And these are all reasonable concerns. Why should you charge a high price if all the content you're offering can be found for free on the web? The answer is that there is a huge group of people out there who is willing to pay a premium price for high value content that is delivered in a format that is convenient to them and is organized. And don't forget that people are paying to get into a community of like-minded people and they're paying to get in touch with you, you as an expert. This is what makes your content worth to be paid. When you're selling your content for a low price, you're basically saying to yourself, my content is not good enough. So you're first undervaluing yourself and your content. And this will attract just the Groupon customers. I don't know you, but I hate those people. The amount of money you spend for an online course is proportional to the amount of effort you will put into that course. So these people that are not paying enough, they will never put in action what you're teaching. 
Ergo, when you're gonna ask for a testimonial from these people, what do you think they're gonna reply to you? And plus, if you price cheaply your online course, you don't have enough money to promote this course if you want to use Facebook ads. So does it mean that you should never charge a low price? No, you can do it, but it should be something that is really focused on a problem. This is what I call a tripwire, a tripwire offer. You can sell a mini course, so maybe you can take a segment of your online course, a small segment that is really focused on a problem, and you can sell it for a lower price. Or you can sell a PDF, or you can sell a video series, but something that is really specific, really focused on a single problem. A tripwire is an offer that transforms a lead into a customer. And maybe you already know that making a customer a customer again is easier than acquire a new customer. If you like the advice I suggested till now, remember to like this video because based on the number of likes, I know what kind of videos I have to create in the future. So click that button below. And the other false assumption that many creators have is the fact that you should create a really long course if you want to charge a high price. Now, obviously, if you're charging $1,000 and you give 30 minutes of content, well, come on, mate. There is no general rule, but you should use some judgment. It's not about the course length, it's about the change you're promising with your course. And with 30 minutes, well, you can't change people that much. But think about how much time you're sparing to these people to reach that goal searching for free content online that is totally disorganized. And at the same time, I suggest you to check on your competitors. And this doesn't mean that you have to look at their price and propose something that is a little cheaper. It's a way to validate the market demand, but at the same time, you can have an idea of how much people are willing to pay for something like that. And if you want to invest some money, I suggest you to buy a product from your competitors so you can see what they're doing and you can create something that is a little better and different. So here's what you should do. Start with a low price. It's normal, it's human. Start with a low price and then little by little start testing. You need to have a good base of customers before you can raise the price. So at the beginning when you launch your new online course you have to make a sacrifice. You have to charge a little price, you have to get customers inside your course to test the course and then when you have enough customers you can start raising the price and testing different prices. And something you shouldn't underestimate is creating a community. Every online course you're creating should have a group, a private group where people can interact with each other and can have access to you. And this is one of the stumbling blocks that stops people from buying. They don't know if they will get enough support after they bought the course or they will just have to figure out everything by themselves. And the last thing you should consider to sell a high price online course is to offer a payment plan. The majority of your followers won't have the possibility to pay a high price only once. So always remember to give different ways to pay for your online course with a payment plan. Oh, I forgot another thing, the technical problem. There are many people out there who don't know where to start or what to use to create their online courses. So if you have this problem, I created a PDF for you. I created a PDF with a list of the five best tools you can use online to create online courses. So if you are interested in that, you have the link to download the PDF in the description of this video. Creating an online course is all about testing, testing the content, testing the price. So there is no other way to realize what works for you because every situation is a different situation. The only thing you can do is just to start, check your competitors, see what is already selling and start with a low price and then test and test and test. And if you want to have all the advice I talked about in this video and you don't want to watch it again from the beginning every single time, I created a document for you. So in the description of this video, you can download this document with all the things I talked about. Question of the day. What is the niche you're gonna use for your online course? Reply in the comments below and as usual, if you like this video, subscribe to the channel. You have the red button below, you have the bell, click on the bell so you will have notification every time I will post a new video. And I will read all the comments, all the feedback, all the questions that you will have in the comment area. So use that area and I'll see you there or I'll see you in the next video. Cheers, mate.